the most important question I have been asking myself is whether it is probable uh, that we get another leg up um, because that's the biggest uh, question for cryptocurrency investors. Uh, is this bubble finished because we've got a strong correction now from 800 billion to 250 billion now? Uh, but some people think uh, that it is likely that we get another leg up, though they speak less loud now. Uh, this has was uh, widely thought um, also by me uh, at the peak of the bubble. Uh, I was thinking this was still probable. Uh, and um, and um, But as markets have been correcting now, the question for me is, do I keep up my uh, buy uh, offers uh, to buy crypto sheep? Uh, and, and the only reason for that would be uh, if uh, if we get another uh, another uh, if the bubble is not finished and it continues to go up and we get a long uh, multi-year bear market like we've seen before only after that we have another leg up that would be the only reason for me to buy crypto now or to have a low offers um, ready to get filled or to even buy at current prices uh, but um, but but I think uh, and. Uh, that it is not probable we get another leg up uh it is much more it is possible but it's not probable and uh it is much more probable that we get indeed that we started a, a multi-year bear market uh why do i think that um well first the case here eh? uh so so uh two interesting uh, some others have also shorts but for example Ambessa here on twitter shared this chart uh, and he draws a on a logarithmic chart. He draws a, um, a straight line uh, through uh, the price of Bitcoin, and and um, and uh, starting at 2012 here, that's the Bitstamp uh, US dollar price. And here we have the bubble of 2013, and indeed had two legs up, then a long uh, bear market, and then uh, this is the bubble of 2017. And uh, here he shows that, okay, we had one leg up, but if we have a repeat of this scenario in 2013, we'll have another leg up. And also uh, because this line here uh, that he draws uh, really points also to a valuation of here around uh, $100,000 already in 2019. Huh? And so many people think uh, we will get, when we get another leg up, we will go from, uh, to about fifty thousand dollars hundred thousand dollars and that would be reaching this line then again uh, and this line uh, is uh, is giving validity here that that's the growth rate in the past so that will continue be, to be the growth rate in the future huh? uh, this kind of chart uh, but also for example uh, this chart by Mint. Uh, he draws on the Bitcoin chart again, um, also logarithmic, uh, and he thinks that, um, well, we saw two legs here in 2013, and so for Bitcoin, um, we, if we see two legs, uh, then, uh, then indeed we will go considerably higher before we start a, a long multi-year bear market. So um, I think... Uh, the, the two biggest mistakes here made is that they are looking only at the Bitcoin chart, which is well a mistake because uh, the world of cryptocurrency, uh, even though Bitcoin is still the leader, it has lost a lot of market share. And if you want to judge valuations in the, in crypto markets, well, um, you have to look at the total market cap um, uh, to judge um, w what we've seen. Uh, for real, eh? because if you only look at Bitcoin, then 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 you ha you don't have a view on the total market. And if we do that, for example, Trollova has made such chart, uh, you will see that actually there have been two legs also in this bubble. Huh? Um, and that doesn't show uh, here uh, on the Bitcoin chart. It doesn't show because look, it goes up in one straight line basically. As sometimes you have correction but up correction up and so this looks like one leg whereas this looks more like two legs eh? because it's a much longer correction um 
so so but if you look at the total market cap you will see that um even though this is more like two legs clearly this is also two legs because you can see that there is a pretty long sideways movement here um and um also if you look at spreads uh here this chart is also very important if you only look at the bitcoin chart then um you will see uh, um spreads yeah you can't see that here but anyway uh if you look at the spreads here um okay so um another mistake i think uh is uh looking at the uh at this line here i don't think this is valid um growth will not uh, continue to be at the same rate as this line implies on a logarithmic chart drawing such line means that you expect that growth will continue to be year over year on average the same and uh, but but i really had to verify this because this is of course possible uh, many new technologies uh, grow at a, a steady rate for a long time before they drop off in growth rate so i verified how it went uh, with um some other uh, things like for example internet adoption because we don't i i don't have the numbers of uh, crypto adoption eh? so the year over year amount of users i i don't have that i can't tell that uh, and uh, and so i can't study the growth rates year over year but if we go to some other uh, uh others like for example the amount of internet users or the amount of mobile users in africa here i found or the amount of um, uh, facebook users then we can study the growth rates there and, and see how that went and and um well uh, the, the, what, what we're looking for is not a chart like this because this shows on a logarithmic chart that the growth rate indeed goes down every year strongly this is what we see, for example, at Facebook, the amount of uh, the growth rate. Uh, the first year, it goes from basically zero to one million users, the second to six million, the third to 12 million, but the growth rate is like 10, 100,000% the first year, but only 500% the second, 100% the third. So it drops off, but then sometimes it goes up a little uh, a year, but it drops off for the most part um, uh, and quite quickly um with here and there an outlier year um and so for example for mobile users in africa you also see on a logarithmic chart it looks like it's a steady growth here but if you look at the actual numbers um you see that for example the amount of users in 2000 was 17 million 2001 26 million uh and then 37 million 53 million but you see 50 percent growth rate 40 40, 50, 60, 40, 40, 30, 20, 20. Yeah, so there is a couple of years of steady growth huh? and, and then it drops off. So um, the question is uh, with cryptocurrency, are we in that steady growth rate? Uh, and, and in that case, it is possible we have a second leg up. Um, but for that, I think uh, we will have to look at um, um, the amount of users we have um in cryptocurrency um, and so um if you look for example at mobile africa uh even when it had like 50 million users it continued to grow to about 280 million users at a steady yearly rate um this is quite remarkable, um, um, but um, uh, this is um, not what I've seen with other uh, growth uh, statistics. For example, with Facebook, when you have around 50 million users, um, well, that's here in 2007. Uh, yes, it picked up in one year, uh, for, it went from 100 to 300% growth rate, but after that, uh, from 50 to 100 it went to 100 percent another outlier year here but overall if you take an average here of the growth rates you see that it drops with here and there an outlier year um but so for internet users i think this is the most comparable to cryptocurrency because 
the difference with Facebook and Mobile Africa is that, well, um, there was already, um, uh, there is not a lot of um, uh, learning to be done to start using Facebook or to start using a mobile phone in Africa. Um, uh, but with, with, with internet at the time, that was different. It was a totally new technology. Uh, uh, and, um, and so to start using the internet in the beginning, it was not a lot of utility. So it takes time uh, for people to start using it. Uh, uh, and you need to, is a, a big learning curve there. And it's not user friendly to use it is in, in contrast to Facebook and, and, and mobile Africa. This is a very user friendly uh, thing. So adoption goes very quickly, but if it's not user friendly and it's totally new, it takes a lot longer time. So I think the amount of internet users is much more comparable to look uh, for cryptocurrency growth. And there you basically see that it is a, it's a very interesting curve and a curve that many people think uh, is applicable also to cryptocurrency. And, and you see that the S, that on a logarithmic chart where it's tenfolds every time, uh, that actually growth rates in the beginning were slow and then picked up year over year, growth rates picked up here, and then um, they stayed uh, flat and only then they start dropping. So some people, they think we're actually here with cryptocurrency or we're here. And if we're here, it means that actually growth rate will go up over time, over the next few years. And that would be tremendous. It would mean that, yes, we have a second black dot for sure. Um, or some people think we're here and growth rates will be steady. And this is what the, the chart here in, in, in Ambassa implies. And so, uh, and if that's the case, then indeed we'll also get very likely a second leg up. But I, I think we're not uh, here and we're not here, we're here uh, for cryptocurrency. Why? Uh, because look at the amount of internet users here. So what you see is that these growth rates in the beginning is in, in the 70s. Huh? Uh, in the 70s, internet was started in, uh, in, 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 in mainly um, um, government institutions uh, that start to connect each other um, and, 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 and send messages to each other. Um, and then universities started also. Um, and this is um, uh, in the, and the growth, but you see in the beginning, growth rate is very low. Uh, it's here like 20% per year, 10% per year. In the 80s, it picks up um, a lot. Uh, here, 83. Uh, from, from, from 10, 20%, it goes to 90%. Okay, two slower years, but then 150%, 170%. So this is a massive acceleration here in 86. And you see that uh, we're here at 50,000 users. Um, and this is this period. This is the 70s growth uh, is very slow, but then in the 80s, it really picks up uh, and the growth rate accelerates a lot. But the amount of users only 50,000. And then um, uh, once uh, it starts slowing down really here at this point uh, of in 1990, uh, uh, in the 90s, it starts to slow down a lot. Um, and this is uh, this. Uh, curve here, but it's pretty steady. And you can see from 91, it was 60% and 99 was 50%. Uh, uh, so it's a pretty steady growth in the 90s, uh, but it's a lot lower than in the 80s. And there is one outlier year here and that's 1994. And um, the amount of users was 20 million. I think this year 1994 is very comparable to what we've seen in cryptocurrency in 2017. <clears throat> uh, we had also an outlier year, of course, in 2017, many people joined cryptocurrency, start investing in it, a lot of young people. And I would estimate that, uh, that the amount of users has then folded only in 2017 for cryptocurrency. But there is also an estimation that the total amount of users, or at least investors, it's not really users, but investors in cryptocurrency um, is, is now about 50 million. And so this also corresponds to where internet users were in 1994, 95. And, um, and so if you look at, at this, you can say that, okay, the amount of users is way too high today in cryptocurrency to have a, to be in early stages where 
growth accelerates, that's just not possible when you're like for, for us to think that we're now in an accelerating phase, an accelerating growth phase, that's not possible simply because of the numbers that we have. Uh, but what is possible is that we're at a steady growth and that year over year, like here in the 90s, um, a growth stays steady uh, in amount of users. Huh? Um, but then we should start probably here at 95. Huh? Uh, and here too, you can see that, uh, well, uh, uh, I mean, it's not that steady, actually it goes down from 90% to 50%. So also in the 90s, if you look deeper, you can see that actually there's also a slowdown here in growth. So, so I think this is where we are with crypto. We're also, if things pan out, then uh, growth will continue strongly. And uh, today we're at 50 million and in four years, we're at, at 250 million users. Um, uh, but, um, but, 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 but then still the growth will be uh, uh, basically going down year over year. And, um, and so uh, th there's a, another thing with cryptocurrency is that, um, um, yeah, uh, well, I think that that's the most important thing here. Um, yeah, I think uh, I've said everything I wanted to say. I think this is very, very informative uh, to have an idea if, 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 if steady growth rates are, are possible. And I think these numbers show um, that, um, well, if you look at Facebook um, and um, uh, at 50 million users, uh, the growth really goes down a lot. It's not steady. At mobile phones in Africa, you can see that, okay, at 50 million users, the growth is actually steady still for a couple of years. So it is possible, but these are very user-friendly technologies and uh, mobile phones. And, um, and, and I think that's the difference here in Facebook that we really have to give a lot more value to this kind of statistic. And then it shows that it's just not, not, uh, not possible uh, that at such numbers that you have a steady growth rate. So I think from this, we can say that it's much I, very probable that we have a uh, a, a, a decelerating growth rate in cryptocurrency that the amount of users year over year goes down with a few outlier years possible and we just saw one so it's very unlikely to see another one another outlier, outlier year um, especially not the way cryptocurrency is going in that we've seen in the past and this is also different from valuations in internet companies was that yes they went up in one straight line from from basically the 90s still uh, for 10 years in a row and and this is also interesting for cryptocurrency that okay growth rates went down here strongly but the actual real financial bubble in cryptocurrency in in, in internet stocks was in 1999 and so um, several years later, you, you only get the big bubble. And this is also what uh, many other people think, and I think too, is that we will have another bubble in cryptocurrency, uh, another big bubble. <clears throat> uh, but it's not for uh, now, it's only for in five years or so. So, yeah. Um, uh, and then there was one more thing I want to say why I think that there is the probability for another uh, leg up right now, I think is low. And that is this uh, spread here. Uh, if you look at all coins together, you can see that um, the past bubble went from an undervaluation under the trend line here from minus 71% to an overvaluation of 555%. And this, although it didn't go as high as here, 900%, 1,500%, it does come from deeper. Huh? The undervaluation here was minus 60. And then it went to this, but this is a very early stage. So let's look at this. Minus 50% was undervaluation here. And then it went to 900 or let's say 1000% overvaluation. But 
this one basically starts half as deep because minus 50 percent minus 70 percent minus 50 percent in in actual numbers that means it's half the value and so it only has to go up half as much to have the same kind of percentage increase and and this is what happened um uh, the, the, you can see that the strength of this bull market is very comparable to this strength in total. It went up as much, it didn't go as high, but it comes from deeper. So I, uh, I went on long enough. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video.